What's up YouTube, this is Cory with Cory's Card Craze. I have a new kind of video for you today. It's going to be a profit or loss video. And I thought, what better set to start off with than my favorite set that ever came out in Magic the Gathering, and that was Return to Ravnica. I don't know what it was about this set. I kind of fell in love with the Deathrite Shaman. Now it's illegal, which sucks. But it's still my favorite card. And I figured, let's start off with my favorite set. And I was lucky enough to find this one for $75 on eBay. And that's the cheapest I've ever seen this on eBay. So that is the standard I'm going to use. If I can turn around cards out of these packs for $75 or more, dollars, it'll definitely, definitely be a profit booster box. So as you can see, it is sealed. I haven't messed with it. I haven't done anything to it. Obviously, what I'm looking for here are the Shock Lands. Abrupt Decay is pretty good. Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, it's going to be about it. I know Cyclonic Rift is about, I don't know, $5 maybe right now. But anyway, I'm going to get this open. Oh, there it goes. The seal has been broken. I know you saw, well, I don't know, but hopefully you saw it in my last, sorry, in my last video where I opened a Return to Ravnica box, it was my 100 booster pack opening for Magic the Gathering. And that box cost me, I want to say, somewhere around $87, and I found this box the next day. For $75. But that's the wonder, wonderful world of eBay. And there's the inside of the box for those of you who have never seen it. I'm just going to take out a stack here. We've got about six boosters to start off with. Let's see if we can turn anything around. I do have sleeves off to the side. Should I pull any great cards? A foil steam vents, I believe, right now is about. 20 to 25 dollars and that is going to be the highest card actually no that's a lie a foil abrupt decay is about 40 bucks right now on tcg player but anyway i'm going to skip all the commons go right to the uncommons let's see golgari kirun goblin ooze and my first rare death right shaman that's my boy right there i love this guy he uh he's only about i think 375 right now unfortunately and nothing else in that pack, but that is fantastic. He's not worth much, but I'm going to put him in the back. I'm going to save the back here for cards worth about 4 or $5 or more. But he gets a special place because he has a special spot in my heart. And I am a hopeless romantic, of course. Next pack, we have Fall of the Gavel, Syncopate, Treasured Find, World Spine Worm, not really worth much. It is a mythic, and all mythics will go in the back. Whether they're worth something or not, he'll, he'll probably go for $3, I'm not sure. We have a Centaur and a Foil Centaur Healer. Now, I did see on TCG Player the Dragon Token is about $4 right now, so that if I get any of that, we'll go in the back as well. For those of you who don't know, I did start a Patreon account. The link will be in the description below. I have dirt cheap booster boxes for sale. I believe they're all $75, depending on what I have available for the month. Let's see what our rare is. Gerard's Orders. Nothing for that guy. Like I said, my Patreon is in the link below if you're interested. Just click the link and check it out see if it's something you like i'm not begging anyone for any money or anything but i do want people to be able to get booster packs and booster boxes for cheap 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 all right a rare overgrown tomb there we go i'd say 750 right there eight bucks put that right in the back beautiful beautiful and rest in peace a foil rest in peace is going to be about what twelve dollars i have to double check that but the non-foil version is five dollars all day on tcg player and i just pulled a foil and actually i should have put that overgrown tomb 
and a sleeve, but this is definitely going in. A couple great packs right in a row there. Wow. This box is already starting to look like a great booster box. But I'll say that, and then that'll be it for the box. I'm just going to pull crap for the rest of this video. I'm just kidding. I hope that doesn't happen. Our rare is a Blood Crypt. Wow. Wow, wow. I've opened four packs, and I've gotten two Shocklands, Deathrite, a Mythic, and a Foil Rest in Peace. I can't believe that. I mean, already we're over $20. Oop, sorry, my phone was buzzing. Usually I put that on silent for my videos, and I was so excited to get into this box that I completely forgot. So I apologize for that. This pack, we have Codex Shredder, Rites of Reaping, Xanakiv Lotus, or Locust, my rare Palisade Giant. There's six more packs for us. We have the Aqua Steed, we have Sky Knight, Karaz the Guild Mage. Esperia Supreme Judge. It is a mythic, probably only a couple bucks, but all my mythics will go in the back. We have a goblin token. I have a deck that's all goblins, so that is awesome. And my oh, and a foil land. Those are only about a buck online. I'll put that off to the side. So I've pulled about three foils. The only one worth anything is uh, Rest in Peace. I pulled two Shocklands, Deathrite, two Mythics. Pretty good pack, or a box rather. But we have Sphere of Safety, Brush Strider, Judge's Familiar, one of my favorite cards from this set. My rare, Wayfaring Temple. Looks like we have another foil. Oh, Golgari Kirun. That foil is about eight cents. I know that because I pulled one in my last booster box and I looked it up the other day to see if it was worth anything because it is an uncommon. And sometimes foil uncommons will fetch you a buck or two, but not that one. This pack starts off with Minotaur Aggressor. Is it Kiron? Is it Static Caster? Static Caster, sorry. Python Needle. That's about $2 right there. And that's it for that pack. I do have booster pack repacks on my eBay account if anyone is interested. Actually, you know what? I'll put it in the, in the description below. If you're interested, check it out. I mean, I have 30, 30 card repacks for 4 bucks. So instead of paying $4 and getting 15 cards, you get 30 with no lands, no duplicates, no ads or tokens, nothing like that. But anyway, we have Azorius Justiciar, Rakdos Cackler. Cryptborn Horror. That rare is worth all of a penny, maybe. My cat just jumped up on the table. We'll see if she decides to make an appearance. She may just start chewing on the plastic from the booster box. We have Bizarre Kravad. V2 Gazi Guild Mage. Corpse Jack Menace. That was a couple bucks when the set first came out but not worth anything anymore. I believe this is my 12th pack now. So a couple packs and uh, nothing good. I had a feeling that was going to happen because we did so well in the first couple packs there. We have Soul Type, Azorius Kirun, Slime Molding, Search the City is my rare. No value in that card. And let's grab six more packs out of this. There's six more. This is going to be half the booster box. This is what our thirteenth pack starts off with. Archweaver. Is it charm? 
is it Staticaster? Wow, I can't even say this. Is it Staticaster? My rare Underworld Connections. That's it for that pack. So we've had a, seven dud packs in a row. Not very good, but we aren't even halfway through yet. Civic Saber, Drag Mangler, Thrill Kill Assassin, Mana Bloom is my rare. Come on, Ravnica, you gotta give me something here. Trying to prove to people this is a fantastic set. Although it does have Shocklands. I, I'm going to do one with uh, Gate Crash as well because they have Shocklands. My rare Volatile Rig. Not worth a thing. Maybe a buck. But like I said, I'm, I'm looking for stuff that's four or five dollars or more. Or Death Rite Shaman. Death Rite Shaman is fine by me. Yep, my cat is playing with the plastic. We have Security Blockade, Rakdos Charm, Street Spasm, a hey, Jace Architect of Thought. Beautiful. Although he's only about two bucks right now. Not worth a damn thing. I remember I pulled him in a draft when the set first came out over at my buddy Paul's house. And he was about 14, 15 bucks at the time. And uh pretty sure I sold him right away because I had a feeling he was going to go down. I did put him in a uh, sleeve only because it is a planeswalker. Not bad, not bad. This would have been a great box back when the set first came out. Alright, I threw that plastic on the ground so hopefully my cat will go away. She is quite annoying when I don't need her to be. We have Shrieking Affliction, Hole Hole Flailer, Brush Strider, Righteous Authority. Hey, there's a $4 token right there. Put you right in the back there, buddy. It's awesome when a token can uh, pay for the booster pack. I only need a few more of him to uh, turn this box around. We have Goblin Rally, Blister Coil Weird, Rakdos Rage Mutt, Havoc Festival, a uh, Bird Token, and a Foil Sunspire Griffin. So that's half the box. I don't think we're looking at half value right now, but like I said, half the box, we still have half the booster packs to go here. There's six more. Tavern Swindler, Rites of Reaping, Golgari Decoy, Cyclonic Rift, there's a $5, $6 rare right there, I needed that, I know I mentioned my uh, eBay account. I do have a TCG Play account as well where all of these rares will be going up on my account. Just click the link below if you're interested in any of these. I try and have the lowest prices. Even if it's by just a penny, I want to give people the lowest prices possible because I don't want to keep any of these cards. My rare, Precinct Captain. But yeah, I mean, I... I once completed the whole set of Return of Ravnica and the whole set come like all together back when these cards were worth a lot more. Only fetched me maybe $110, $120, so I'm not interested in completing the set again. Rare is Death's Presence. No dragon token. We have Rakdos Charm, 
pyroconvergence, slime molding, my rare, supreme verdict. If I'm correct, I think that's a four dollar rare. I'm gonna throw it in the back. It might be. It's a good card. And I have a foil launch party. Move my stacks off to the side. I'm really just hoping to break even so I can uh, convince myself to buy another booster box of Return to Ravnica. We have Teleportal, Detention Sphere, that's another 2 or $3 rare, but only $4 or more is what's going to go in the back. A Foil Abrupt Decay would be nice. You know, I haven't come across Abrupt Decay or Chromatic Lantern yet, now that I think about it. So one of those two got to be in here. Come on. There we go. We have Shrieking Affliction, Slitherhead, one of my favorite artworks. Xanakiv Locust, Acropolis Regent, I think is like $2, but it is a Mythic. So there's four Mythics for the box so far. Not bad. As far as mythics, but none of them are really worth much. Alright, we have 12 packs left in this booster box. Can we turn it around? We have Aqua Steed. Is it Kirun? Rakdos Ringleader. Dreadbore. And I think I just threw one of these up on my TCG players, like 2 or $3, not, not much. But destroy target creature, Planeswalker. That's pretty sweet. We have Skyline Predator. Psychic Spiral. Azorius Charm. Wild Beastmaster. And no dragon token. I'm trying to keep everything neat here. Dark Revenant, Thought Flare, Nivix Guild Mage, Azorius Elecutors, a Knight, and a Mountain. That pack opened up really funny. Maybe that means we have something good in here. Doubt it, but you never know. Civic Saber. Rogue's Passage. Blood Fray Giant. A Pack Rat. And there's Mr. Jace on this advertisement or whatever that is. We have ourselves another Archweaver, Tablet of the Guilds, Golgari Charm, Temple Guard, and there we go, another 8 box right there, maybe 7, I don't know, 7 or 8, but it's going in the back. Sapperling and a Forest, so that is 3 Shocklands for this booster box so far. 3 Shocklands and 4 Mythics, and we still have 7 packs to open, and a Dragon Token, just saying. Dragon Token is worth more than most Mythics. There's a great, great Goblin right there, Mr. Gutter Snipe. Then we have Is It Charm, Dryad Militant, Desecration Demon. I think we have a foil. Ah, uh, Vassal Soul. Not worth a thing. I mean, maybe 50 cents because it's a foil. Last six packs here, and then we are all done. And at the end of the video, I will go through all the good pulls we had and determine if this box gave me a profit or a loss. We have Soul Tithe, Fall of the Gavel, Judges Familiar, 
Mercurial Chemister. Nothing good out of that pack. And no steam vents yet. Or abrupt decay. Or chromatic lantern. Huh. Those are the three rares I really want to pull. Those will sell really quick, and they are worth a good amount of money. We have Seek the Horizon, Arrest, Vandal Blast, Arkin of the Triumvirate, and we have a Foil Codex Shredder. Not what I was hoping for. Foil Abrupt Decay will make this box instantly a profit box. I think on TCG it's like $42 or $43 right now. Now I don't want it, so I'll definitely be selling it. We have Security Blockade, Skymark Rock, Risen Sanctuary, Niv Mizzet Draco Genius. There's a fifth mythic. Wow. Did not expect that. Five mythics out of this box. This pack opened up all sorts of messed up. There we go. We have Oak Street Innkeeper, Call of the Conclave, Thrill Kill Assassin, Carnival Hellsteed. That's a cool token. Two more packs to go. Skyline Predator, Selesnia Kirun, Street Sweeper, Lotlith Troll. Do I have a foil in this pack? Oh, Forest. Not bad, not bad. Is that two foil forests? You know, that's funny because out of the last box I opened, I got two foil mountains. Very last pack. I don't think we're on profit territory right now unless I pull something good out of this pack. I think steam vents would get us pretty close. Abrupt decay or chromatic lantern, maybe close. Seek the horizon. We have sky knight, blood fray giant, oxygen smiter. Not gonna get me there, fortunately. But just for poops and giggles, let's take a look at what we have. Temple Garden, I'm going to say 7. Supreme Verdict, I'm going to say uh, 4, so we're at 11. Another 4 for this guy, we're at 15. There's 8, 23. 5 more for 28. I think it's about 12 bucks in foil, so that's going to be 40. We have another 8, so 48. It's only 3. Uh, it was like 375, but we'll say 3. So there's 51. And these, I'm not positive on, but I want to say three bucks each. So we're at 51, so 54, 57, uh, 61, 65, and 69. So actually, if these were four bucks each, I know there's a couple two or three dollar rares in there, so this is probably a profit box, but not easily. I want to be able to, oops, bump the camera there. I want to be able to turn a box around quick you know like open a box and be able to sell everything right away where are they there they are there's my three shock lands of the video none of them are the best but the worst one is hallowed fountain and the best one is steam vents so I pulled the three middle ones I guess that's not too bad but Anywho, I would call this box, uh, you know, right in the middle. Not a profit, not a loss. I broke even on this one. I'll be able to turn these cards around and maybe make a little bit of money. Maybe break even. After shipping, probably breaking even. But anywho, if you're interested in singles, check out my TCG account. If you're interested in repacked booster packs, check out my eBay account. And if you're interested in dirt cheap booster boxes, 
check out my Patreon account. You can get up to six booster boxes for only $75 each. If you're into magic, it'll be magic boxes. If you're into Pokemon, it'll be Pokemon boxes. And those are really the only two things I'm, I'm into right now. I've thought about Yu-Gi-Oh! or Force of Will, but not, not so much. Maybe Dragon Ball Z, but the two I really like are Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know, and I'll do another profit or loss video with whatever box you'd like me to do. You know, not alpha or beta or revised or anything like that, obviously, because I can't afford that. But a more recent set where I can get the box for around $80 to $90 and have a good profit or loss video. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys, and as always, tune in.